All right, guys, I woke up this morning and I was thinking to myself what video I should make today. And then I realized I hadn't really done anything to the motorcycle. I've just been riding it and I've kind of tinkered with the exhaust a little bit, but I want to do something to it. And uh, since the Mustang's in the shop, I don't have the funds to go and just buy, you know, something cool like an exhaust or anything like that. So let me show you what we're going to do today. All right, guys, for those of you that don't know, this is my motorcycle. This is kind of my daily and it's not really stock. The previous owner did throw some stuff on it. Nothing really cool. Not like a nice little exhaust system, sadly, but he did throw on some nice aftermarket bars. He threw on some aftermarket. I think I don't know what these are called in the motorcycle community, but levers. I'm going to call them levers, uh, some blinkers. He did some nice little things. But one thing I kind of want to do is change the color. I like the black. Don't get me wrong. I think the black looks fucking sick. I like how it looks. And especially when I'm wearing all black too, it looks nice. But I want to protect it. So I, I, I do want to keep the dark color. Uh, and I'm kind of limited to you. And I'll explain why in a second. But I do want to keep the dark color. But I do want to keep it clean. Gloss black is just one of the worst colors to take care of. It gets dirty like that. And it's a bitch to clean because you don't want to scratch it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to test out Plasti Dip on my bike now this isn't a sponsored video they didn't send me this product i don't even know what the company's name is i went to my local pet boys as a normal ricer would and i went to the plasti dip section and it seems like the ricers have cleared it out of all the good colors so i was stuck with uh, this dark gray metallic which i think will look good but i wanted to maybe get like a pearl white i think that would look nice but you know beggars can't be choosers the ricers beat me to it so i don't have the nice pearl white but I think the nice dark black or dark gray metallic, gunmetal metallic we'll call it, I think that'll look nice. Let me show you what we got. All right, so this is what we're working with here. I didn't know, but I looked at the can a little closer. It is just Plasti Dip. I thought it was a knockoff brand just because the can looks way different, but they went and made it look a little bit more luxurious, you know, to sell to the higher end ricers. So I respect that. I see their marketing team putting in the extra hours. We got a BMW i8 taillight right there, just as any ricer would want. You know, you go and Plasti Dip your Honda Civic and it goes from a Honda Civic to an nice BMW. That's what they're advertising. It's really nice. So anyway, I'm a little bit more confident in the quality of the product now that I know it's actually a Plasti Dip and it's not a piece of shit like Flex Seal brand. So that's good. But now what we got to do is figure out what we're going to dip. So this is the color. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out clear on camera, but it's got some flakes in it. Nothing too crazy. But uh, I think that'll look really nice. Contrast to all of the other gray on the bike. It, it's going to, the whole bike is going to look gray. It might look like shit. And I don't know. We're going to find out. But we got to take apart the front fairing. We got to take apart the gas tank somehow. Get get those bits and pieces off. And then we got to take apart these little pieces back here. It, most of it should be easy. This is going to be the bitch. Other than that, the other two pieces should be easy. So let's go ahead and disassemble the bike. <music> As stripped as I can we have all of the smaller pieces down here should be pretty easy to do on the rear pieces they're supposed to be pinned in but one of mine was already broken so it came off really easily I'm not gonna remove this one if anything I'll just mask it off it shouldn't be that big of a deal front fairing should be stupid easy the gas tank which I thought was gonna be a headache to disassemble was actually pretty easy although I think I did lose one of these pins it's, it's around here somewhere we'll find it don't worry but now i'm gonna take off this and it's probably gonna smell like gasoline in here i wanted to do that last if anything i might even wait till i clean everything up and then take that off because i feel like right when i take that off it's gonna smell like gas and i don't even know if i could take this off i've never done any of this this is just me looking around seeing what bolts i can loosen and then loosening them <laughs> that's all i'm doing here so uh yeah we, we we'll see what happens so let me uh keep going and then i will clean everything prep it and then get spraying All right, got all the dirt off of them. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to use a ceramic wax, but now we're gonna strip it with some prep ball. So that'll chew it all off nice and easily. Damn it, I just kicked all those damn clips everywhere. But anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and strip all of the wax that I just put on off of that, do the same to that, and uh, well, we'll be ready to spray, hopefully. I have the Plasti Dip currently sitting inside in some warm water. That way, hopefully, Hopefully it doesn't go on all orange peely, but you know what? We'll see. All right, guys. So with a little bit more time and some levitation powers, I've made them all float up in the air. That'll be really easy. I don't have to touch them. And I'm going to go ahead and degrease them one last time and then mask off this bitch right here. 
I was going to take this off, but I don't think I'm going to. I tried loosening up all those bolts and there's one in the middle and I don't know, I don't want to risk it for the biscuit. I, it's just not going to happen today. So I'm going to go ahead and spray over it and then probably peel it up. It's Plasti Dip so I can remove it. Hopefully, um, if worse comes to worse, I just remove it from the silver part and this part will stay dipped. It's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm doing it just to protect my paint more or less. So, uh, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish masking up this little hoe. All right, my masterpiece is almost done. So we got the hanging modern art up there and we have some abstract mosaics right here. Uh, we're almost done. It's looking really good. I think I'm just going to ride it around like that. That is about to get sprayed. I just went and changed out the water to make sure that it is still warm. So you guys are up. You guys are due. So let me finish masking this off. Obviously, we don't want any dip on the engine and shit itself. So uh, just to double check and make sure afterwards, I'm going to go through the whole bike and clean it. Make sure that we didn't get any overspray anywhere. And then we should be solid. Ricers be like, it's sticker bombed though. All right, there we go. The masterpiece is complete. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial on how to make your bike a walking and riding art piece. It looks great in my garage. I think I'm going to leave it on display. If you guys want to come check it out, it'll be $3,000 to come see this art piece. Uh, let's just get spraying. All right, enough jokes. All right, tack coat is applied. And my goal right here, my plan, the way I'm going to go ahead and execute this piece of shit project is I'm going to go ahead and put it on thick enough. So if it looks like dog shit, I can go ahead and peel it off with ease. That way, at least I'm not overworking myself. So we are just going to spray over the badges since it is plastic dip. We just peel it off after. Simple as that. Same with that right there. Should be pretty simple. I mean, from here, it looks pretty good, but I don't want it to look like matte black. It does have some nice little pixels in it, little little sparkles, little glitter. Looks like I went to a strip club, so that's nice. But yeah, I don't want it to look like matte black, but honestly, I mean, that shine right there looks pretty good. Uh, I'm getting a little excited. I'm getting a little, getting a little moist. So while the first coat is drying, let me go ahead and answer some questions that you might be thinking. Drew, where's the Mustang? So the Mustang's been in the shop now for about a week and I'm having some parts installed. If you didn't see the video on that, I'm having cams and a smaller pulley put on. I got a call from the shop yesterday. It's running, but they had some minor problems. Pretty much my ATI balancer, my harmonic balancer, which actually connects the supercharger pulley uh, to the crank itself. There's a little balancer in between because I have two belt systems. It, it got bent and they were like, how the hell did it get bent? And I was like, I don't know. And then so they went and did some investigating and they did the math and the small pulley that I had on that one time where it wouldn't rev out, it overspun my supercharger. So yeah, I, I almost blew up my supercharger. <laughs> Smart man Drew here, man, just always messing up. So uh, my other shop didn't catch that and they ran it and they did dyno pulls with it. And that's why I wasn't revving out. Pretty much I was overworking my supercharger and they think that that's what bent my, my balancer. So we're going to go ahead and order a new balancer, put a slightly bigger pulley than the super small one on. So we're going to go from a 4.63 to maybe a 4 inch or 4.25. I want 700 wheel. If I'm at 700 wheel, I'm happy. That's what I told them. So that's where the Mustang's at. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on that. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and put a timer for like 15 minutes. That's how long I'm going to do in between coats. I think any longer than that is just unnecessary. So 15 minutes. I'm not doing super heavy coats. You guys have seen me Plasti Dip before. I am a Plasti Dip guru. I am the king ricer when it comes to Plasti Dip because I know how to do it correctly. If I would have touched that, that would have been very embarrassing. I would have had to restart, but King Ricer does not mess up. I'm not going to lie. It's only been five minutes and I'm getting kind of excited. That's that's kind of how I want it to look just all over. Just like a nice, like sleek shine to it. I think that'll look pretty fucking sick. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, so a couple coats later, and I'm getting a little nervous now. This is the biggest piece I've ever dipped before, so as I expected, I knew I was gonna get some streaks. I think in order to fix that, what I'm gonna do is just spray it on a bit thicker, make sure it gets a nice wet coat on there for the next two coats, and I think that should fix it, hopefully. The other pieces, they look fine. Uh, they're a lot smaller, so they're a lot harder to mess up. So I'm excited for those, but I hope I can fix that. Same with this one, uh, maybe a little bit of a wetter coat. Let me get in the light, my bad. This one's not as bad. This one actually looks okay, but we'll see. We'll see with uh, a couple wetter coats if uh, that's gonna fix the problem. All right, guys, just got done spraying, I think the fourth or fifth coat, not sure. We're gonna do one more really wet one for sure, but the nozzle went bonkers on me. It's wet, so it looks really stripy right now, but it started, it started just nutting all over the bike. 
in a bunch of clumps. I mean, what 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 do you do when Plasti Dip Nozzle? Come on, my bike looks like it's got herpes now. So I don't know. Hopefully, the next coat that goes over it will be able to level it out a little bit but it does look like ass right now it's it's just getting worse and worse i think i'm ruining my bike slowly so that's cool but luckily i can remove it if i need to but let's just keep going i don't know let's just keep going these pieces are good but not the tank all right so it's dried now i let it sit for 30 minutes and i just got done spraying that stuff which is why i look like this i'm not a coal miner i'm sorry but honestly it's starting to look okay besides it kind of looking like a lumpy penis Besides the lumps, which I think we can get out with another coat, which is what we're going to do. Hopefully, it'll be the last coat. Besides that, maybe I, maybe it's not too bad. I think for sure laying it on thicker is helping it. It doesn't look as textured. It for sure doesn't look like that in the video. Uh, in person, it, you can kind of see some hints of it down there. But honestly, honestly, it's not that bad. So it kind of does look matte black, but you do see a nice shine. Again, it looks nice in video it looks way better in video than it does in person which i think is usually reverse usually it looks better in person but here it looks way better in the video than in real life so in real life it looks like matte black but in video it looks like it's got this nice silver to it so we'll go ahead and uh i'll grab my last bottle and we'll do the fairing and then the tank and then we should be good all right final coat is on thick as balls it is super thick uh, I wanted to make sure this one, like I said, is super thick. So in case I do want to take it off in the near future, I can go ahead and redo it or do whatever I'm going to do. If I want to, you know, I have the vinyl wrap around here somewhere. There it is. I could wrap it orange, but nah, let's, let's plasti dip. Let's play with some stuff really quick. Hopefully it doesn't look like dog shit. Uh, there's like a 50, 50 chance it can at this point because it's the last stage. And if it looks like dog shit, you know, I could leave it until next time I want to restart. Uh, it's a little too late to go and peel everything off right now. It's probably four or five. So if it does look like ass, I'm going to leave it like this for maybe a week or two. And then, uh, well, well, we'll redo it or something. Or we'll find a better way of doing it. I think those, the little fucking rear parts will look good. And the fairing, will, I think, will look okay. The only thing I'm worried about, like I said, is this bitch right here. And uh, if it does look like ass, then, well, we'll just redo it. That's the beauty of Plasti Dip. If you're using this video as a tutorial... On your last coat, you want to go ahead. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Good thing the seat sits there, but that's bad right there. Yeah, on your last coat, you want to go ahead and peel off all of the masking tape just like that. Uh, that one I might have let sit for a little bit too long, so I might go and uh, spray this just so it stays down because that does have me a little nervous. Uh, yeah, you don't, want, you don't want it to come up like that. So yeah, I'm going to go down here and spray it down kind of as like a little tacking coat and I just kind of lob it on there just to make sure that it doesn't lift. Like I said, the seat covers that, it covers up to right here. So I'm not too worried on how it'll look, but I just don't want it to start to fail. So uh, I think it'll look okay though. I think, I think we're, I think we're uh, in the clear. And I just busted a nut. Oh. Fuck yeah. Perfect. All right, guys, while everything is drying, let me show you what I use to clean my bike. WD-40 surprisingly works really well in some of the really gunked up areas. You'd be surprised. Put WD-40, spray it on a spot or spray it on a rag like I'm about to and wipe down some stuff and just watch the magic happen. Watch this. So I'm going to clean this whole top part right here. As you can see, it looks like fucking ass. So let's go ahead. I don't want to get it on my pants. So let's go ahead and spray some on the rag. Just a small area like that. Take that part and just rub it on there and you get a really clean and really good looking area and then you can go ahead and use the same part and just follow all of the frame go across all of it and it just makes everything look really nice and really shiny you can leave it shiny like that 
or you can actually just wipe it down and then you get that matte look again. It's up to you. It does leave a nice little shine and I kind of like it. And it also makes it easier when you go back to clean it again because it has that little layer on there. I mean, it's just, it's really useful. If you have chain lube anywhere, it just cleans it up. Like, here we go. Here's some chain lube up there, a little bit, nothing crazy. Wipe it on there with the WD-40, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just detail part of this bike. And uh, well, I'll get back to you guys while everything is drying. As Bob Ross probably once said, damn, my dick is hard. Look at this, it looks like a brand new bike. Just some simple WD-40 and that's all it takes. A quick five minutes too. I'm trying to pass time while this shit's drying and that only took five minutes. So now I'm gonna go to the other side and just take my sweet ass time. Now what I'm about to show you is a Peacock Flock exclusive tip right here, okay? If you're not subscribed, click off the video. Watch this. This is life changing, okay? Look how dirty that wheel is, okay? And then, boom! Look at that. Absolutely clean. Go ahead and do the whole wheel. Get off all of that road grime and brake dust. And look at that. Look at all that. Look at all that dirt. Do the whole wheel. You could probably do this on your car too. Okay, do I recommend it if you have some sort of coating over your, your wheels like Plasti Dip? Probably not. But for actual paint for factory wheels, this probably works magic and it makes your wheels look brand new in like three seconds. Look at that. Peacock exclusive. Aren't you guys glad you subscribed? Who ordered a new bike? Who, uh, who, who ordered a new bike? Who used my credit card and ordered a new bike? Because this bike is looking brand new and I know dead ass I didn't order a new bike. Did I just say dead ass? Okay, this kit is done. All right, so I think I got scammed. This doesn't seem like a metallic black. It just looks like flat black to me. I got scammed. Now, hopefully in person, it'll look a bit more metallic because as of right now, it just looks like matte black. I'm not gonna lie. That looks a little bit metallic, but that looks like that, which is matte black. I mean, you can't even really tell the two apart. So like I said, hopefully it looks a bit better in the daylight. I do have the bike fully assembled, I think. Hopefully there's nothing missing because I ain't trying to die just yet. But the bike came out pretty good. It's uh, not perfect, but I mean, for doing it yourself with a couple of rattle cans, it's not that bad. It looks pretty good on camera and I think it'll look good in photos, even though I don't really take photos of my bike, but it looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. Uh, I can't wait to see it tomorrow morning. I still gotta let it dry. Time has passed, but not enough for me to actually get out there and ride it. I wish, you know what? I wish it was still sunny out. Daylight savings, you're really fucking me in the ass right now. But overall, I think it's a lot better than it was before. Before, I was always nervous about scratching up the tank with, uh, well, my keys or my belt buckle or something. I know they sell stuff to put there, but I didn't want to do all that. I didn't want to go through that hassle. So instead, I went the harder route and I just, well, I just plastic up the whole bike. And, you know, it seems more logical, right? But no, I, I do think it looks pretty nice. Uh, those, those little, uh, herpy warts they're still there but you can't really tell from like three feet away you honestly can't tell so eh, you know what overall i think this is a solid seven or six out of ten for doing it yourself but uh we'll see we'll see in the morning all right guys so this is with the lights off and i think this is where the bike really shines you can really not see any of the detail or flaws so the bike looks perfect in pitch black darkness you can't tell anything is wrong with the actual dip so you know what i'm just gonna have to only ride this bike when it is a new moon when there is no light on me at all and then and then it will be good all right, so this is how it looks in the daytime. It's not perfect and it doesn't look super metallic. I wish it had some more flake in there because it kind of does just look like matte black. But you know what? For doing it my first time, overall, I don't think it looks that bad. The gas tank was the hardest part because it is the biggest surface area. But other than that, every everything else came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about it, though. Uh, does it look good? Rate it on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being a ricer and 10 being clean as fuck. So let me know down in the comments down below. Anyways, until next video. Peace.